Welcome back to Boiler House Garage and to part two of our video series looking at how ethanol affects fuel consumption. In our last video we tested Shell V Power, a fuel that contains zero ethanol in most parts of England and Wales and compared it with Texaco's E10 petrol, which contains 6% ethanol. As someone pointed out in the comments, it may have been best to compare the same brand Super Unleaded with their standard fuel in case the additives made a difference. So we'll be looking at Shell's fuel save their standard E10 labelled fuel, which confusingly contains 5% ethanol. Please see links in the description below for the last video and the ethanol content tests for both Shell Fuel Save and V Power, which also goes into better detail about uh, both E10 and E5 labels having little meaning towards its true ethanol content. To work out MPG, I'll go over the last video's example of doing 378.6 miles on 49.04 litres of petrol, which you determine by taking the amount of your next refuel. Then you need to convert that amount into gallons by dividing it by 4.55. This is because there are 4.55 litres in one imperial gallon. To the nearest two decimal places, this equals 10.78 gallons, and that's the amount you divide the mileage by to determine miles per gallon. So 378.6 miles divided by 10.78 gallons equals 35.2 miles per gallon. Remembering this is just an example from the last video's fuel test. On the Shell V power we achieved 41.9 mpg on the first tank where I make a conscious effort to drive as economically as possible. The second tank on my normal driving cycle, we got 39.4 miles per gallon. I do this to see if there's much of a difference between driving styles and to take an average of the two before I work out the cost per mile. The Shell Fuel Saves economical tank gives us 36.7 mpg, oddly a little worse than the 6% ethanol uh, test that we did previously. However, the second tank on my normal driving cycle was negligibly better at 35.7 miles per gallon. These runs are done on identical commutes, however due to roadworks there was more start-stop traffic on these fuel save tests, which may explain the almost 1 mile per gallon difference in the economy runs. I made sure that the aircon was used for the same duration as the previous tests too, however outside temperatures had fallen from an average of 24 degrees to 17 degrees Celsius during this time. Now to work out the cost per mile as we did before. To make the comparison fair, I recorded the cost of Shell Fuel Save at the same time I made the V-Power purchase, which was 188.9 pence per litre. To work out cost per mile, I'll take an average of the two tanks, which is 36.2 mpg, convert that into miles per litre using the same formula mentioned earlier by dividing it by 4.55, which gives us 7.96 miles per litre. At 188.9 pence per litre, that means we're paying 24p per mile, still making it marginally cheaper to run my Fiesta on the zero ethanol V power, which is more expensive. Had the extra traffic from the roadworks made enough of a difference between the runs, we should see a similar effect on the next video's results, where I test SO Synergy 99 Plus, another ethanol free petrol in most parts of the country, where I conducted these runs on the same commute uh, with the same traffic as this fuel save. So please subscribe to see when that's uploaded, and I'll see you there. Thanks very much for watching.